December 26, 1994, Marseille, France. A French paramilitary unit known as the GIGN storms a hijacked commercial jetliner parked on the runway. Inside are 170 passengers and crew and four Algerian terrorists who've rigged the plane with dynamite. The commandos, dressed in black, use a passenger boarding stair ramp to reach the cabin door. The stairs are too high and block the door. The commandos finally pry it open. They enter into a hail of gunfire as the terrorists, who are all in the front of the aircraft, unload their weapons. Flashes are seen through the cockpit window. No one knows if the terrorists will blow up the plane. The terrifying incident begins two days earlier, when Air France Flight 8969 leaves Algeria for Paris. Four members of the armed Islamic group board the plane, dressed as airport staff. They take over before takeoff by killing two passengers and threatening to blow up the plane. They demand the release of two political leaders and direct the plane to fly to Paris. But the runway is blocked by the military. The terrorists release about 60 passengers, mostly women and children, but then kill another passenger before the runway is cleared and the plane is allowed to fly to France. They said that they are going to kill one passenger every 30 minutes. Without enough fuel to reach Paris, the plane lands to refuel in the French port city of Marseille before dawn. That's where the high-stakes raid takes place. All four terrorists are in the cockpit with three crew members. At this moment, the four terrorists were in the cockpit with us. We killed two terrorists quickly, approximately uh, maybe 20 seconds. Suddenly, a person appears through the blown-out cockpit window. It's the co-pilot, Jean-Paul Bordery, who, fearing for his life, crawls out and drops nearly 20 feet to the ground. He shatters his thigh and arm. I was on the line of fire. There is two terrorists in my back and the French troops on the other side. It's very, very dangerous. Three terrorists are quickly killed, but the fourth continues firing from the cockpit where he's holed up with the pilot and flight engineer. As passengers stream out, a grenade falls to the ground and explodes outside the plane, but doesn't injure anyone. Then one explodes in the cockpit. The fourth hijacker is killed. Some of the 170 passengers and crew on board during the raid are hurt, but incredibly, all of them survive the firefight. But the heroic actions of the commandos can't undo the tragic deaths of the three passengers killed by the terrorists in Algiers at the beginning of the two-day nightmare. <laughs>